Hi, I'm Ben Martins, and welcome to this video tutorial from Blaze Tech HDTV. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can keyframe in Sony Vegas. Keyframing is basically a change in any effect or transition or any media you have. This keyframing is an option in professional software such as Sony Vegas or After Effects or um, other softwares, but I'm going to be showing you in Sony Vegas for now. So I'll just make a quick text here, add my video track, and I'm going to add a text. And uh, I'm going to name it Blaze Tech. Simple enough, and uh, you can edit it, but I'm just going to leave it as it is to make the tutorial simple, quick, and easy. Now. Keyframing works on whether you show changes in the movement of the text, or whether you add an effect to the text, or whether you add a transition, or any type of change at all to the uh, regular um, frame. So in this example, I'm just going to add an effect, and I'm going to use keyframing to show the change. One of my favorites is uh, light rays, so I'm just going to add a quick weak light ray effect, and as you can see on my screen, that little uh, shining light thing comes out of the text. I think I'm just going to make the strength a bit more. Alright, now as you can see, there's this little bar over here. Now this is called keyframing. Now to show change, all I have to do is move uh, this, or I have to uh, drag this first. Uh, this is the timeline, mini timeline, and uh, this is what's going to show the change. So over here at um, what, uh, two seconds, uh, this change is going to happen. So what you're going to do is going to click this button right here, which means create keyframe. And now I've just created a keyframe. Now to change it and to make the keyframe real and proper, I'm going to show the change of the light source. Now, keep in mind that this is just an example, and in um, other effects, such as lens flare or glint or other film effects, uh, this will not be the same, but the keyframing part will be the same. So, I'm just going to show you a basic structure. Now, we have one change, so it goes from this to this. As you can see on my timeline, over here, uh, it's moving, and uh, as you see here, the light source, it's slowly changing, and when we finally get to the keyframe, it's changed quite a lot, the light source, which is the effect uh, option over here. So now I'm going to move it a little bit more, add a keyframe, and show a bit more change. I'm going to add another keyframe, and show the last and final change. Now I'm just going to close that up, and uh, here is the preview. As you can see, that light shining, that's all keyframing. Now I'll show you another example. Now I'll do a movement text keyframe. So again, the same principles apply, I just opened the event pan crop, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll out so I can see better. And what I'm going to do is drag the timeline over here, and I want it to slowly ease in. So to do that, I'm going to first drag this, and as you can see, I'm, as I'm dragging it, the text is getting smaller. So this is how the beginning will look like. It's really small. Now I'm going to move the timeline a bit more, add a keyframe, and I'm going to zoom a bit, add another, and I'm going to zoom the final. So now, as you can see the change, it's really small, but the text slowly eases in. As you can see on the preview right here, the text will slowly ease in, and the light source is also shining about the effect that we just added. So now let's see what we've done. This is how it looks so far. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is a simple, quick, easy tutorial on keyframing. 